I was home in Kansas is because my sister just went into rehab for heroin. Yeah. Oh, oh I know, I know. A lot of people have negative stereotypes of heroin addicts that they're like lazy and good for nothing. I want you guys to know that's not my sister. Do you know how hard it is to get heroin in Hayesville, Kansas? <laughs> she is motivated. <laughs> She's a go-getter. <laughs> Excellent networking skills. <laughs> yeah. And uh, her husband, my brother-in-law, is in prison. But I like to tell people he lives in a gated community. <laughs> So, uh, guess who has partial custody of her kids? <laughs> yeah. I have partial custody of my niece and nephew, and I have no control over these kids. None. None. My nephew just turned 13 last month, and he is 6'2", with a 42-inch waist and a full-blown mustache. Yeah. My niece is 8, and she also has a mustache. They both look like the cop from the village people. <laughs> And I, I love these kids. Like, I'll give them anything they want because I don't want them to be screwed up. My niece wanted singing lessons. Isn't that cute? Little kids are singing. Oh, no, 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 no. Have you guys heard an eight-year-old that can sing? That stuff is spooky. Every day my niece wakes me up just staring at me. I'm a teapot. Hey, fire starter. Why don't you keep that stuff down? I need Malachi Jr. of the corn showing up. <laughs> oh, yeah, these kids are <laughs> creeping me out. And, and having two kids in L.A., like, that really hurt my love life. I, I had a boyfriend, but he broke up with me. I got dumped. But uh, it, it's cool, though, because I knew the end was near. I knew I was getting dumped. So I left stuff at his house. I have a reason to call him. <laughs> Ladies, take my advice. Don't leave your stuff. Take his stuff. Because he called. He was like, Melissa, give me back my inhaler. Those asthmatics, heartbreakers, heartbreakers.